Um, I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekaha Kudash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, I want to acknowledge Al-Akiyam who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is a... Um, uh, gonna be a lesson I uh, just uh, I was inspired because I watched this video on uh, redacted um, and uh, yeah, they're going in on these uh, facilities that um, the government is building and basically uh, you know they're set up basically uh, the narrative would would be to consider that they're they're uh, building them for the the illegal uh, my, uh, immigrants, these uh, Venezuelan migrants, these all these different migrants that are flooding in to Babylon, America, right? As we get, because because what you have to understand is this is all controlled chaos, uh, you know, perpetrated by the, the the government, and what it is is eventually, very soon, especially with this election coming up, we're gonna have a. Uh, a big, a bunch of, some big shit's gonna pop off. Something big is gonna pop off. We don't know exactly what or how, but we know that there are, they are stirring up the pot, you know, and they're adding different elements. Like, as, you know, just consider if Kamala Harris gets uh, elected, you know, the, the Trumpster diehards, they're gonna lose it. They're gonna flip their, their lids. You see, they're gonna, it's gonna basically sprout into a, uh, uh, racial civil war and what you what you have to understand is this is why they've through through the Biden administration they've allowed all of these migrants to um, enter and they and really they, when you look into this stuff they've actually brought them <laughs> they've they've you know provided uh, buses transportation open borders all these different things to uh, you know increase these numbers of uh, illegal migrants or immigrants. So basically, uh, what I've heard, some of the numbers, uh, 30, uh, up to 30 million new illegal, uh, you know, immigrants who are uh, in, entered the country, you know, I, I don't know if it was, the number was dealing with when Biden, you know, took over his in office. But the point is, is there's a whole bunch of migrants and you know you hear the story in over when we're over here in Colorado, there's a city Aurora. It's a suburb of Denver, where mainly Jake, and really uh, predominantly uh, Judah. That's where uh, you know Aurora. That's basically the the uh, you know the what's the word I'm looking for? Not pop. I guess you say population is the majority is uh, Judah over there in Aurora, right? So they're starting it out, of course, where the tribes are, where the head tribe is over here in, in Colorado, you know, the suburb of Denver, which is called Aurora, which they're telling you. And they're giving conflicting, um, they're giving conflicting reports and stories. Some say, oh, there's a problem over here. The Venezuelan gang, Tren de Aqua, uh, is, uh, is fucking taking over apartment complexes and whatnot over here. Then you have people who are going on, you know, ground zero over there and reporting there ain't really nothing going on. Then then you have people, do you even have the Hells Angels saying they were going to come and, and meet the Tren de Aqua, the, the, you know, the Venezuelan gang that was going to meet them with violence and force because the cops and, you know, there was all kind of different conflicting reports. So at the end of the day, from my assessment, I believe it's just a PSYOP, you know. And um, it, it is, you know, Aurora is, some parts of Aurora is pretty crazy. But, um, you know, my assessment is it's just probably a PSYOP just to stir the pot, get things riled up, and, um, you know, get, get, get to, you know, they have, a, they have a, a more significant agenda. And this is just one element they're using to stir the pot up, okay? And also, because eventually, when this all whatever event pops off, you know we're gonna we're, we're 
we're going to get very close. We're very close right now to Jacob's trouble, you know, and AKA martial law, you know, which in the Bible, it's Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and seven. And I'm going to bring that precept out. But at first I wanted to play this because this is this video I was watching on redacted basically inspired me to uh, do this lesson. Okay. And it's going in on, um, and I'm going to just play a couple minutes of this. And then we'll pull out some precepts and, and uh, go from there through the spirit. All right, here it is. Without further ado. Well, we have a saying on this show that conspiracy theories are just six-month spoiler alerts for what's to come. And there's no shame in raising these questions. So here's one for you. With over 30 million, upwards of 43 million illegal immigrants that have poured across the border uh, during Biden's presidency. And the federal government is building massive facilities, massive facilities that can sleep tens of thousands of individuals all across the country. You probably haven't heard about these large facilities, have you? Well, why are they being built? Who are they for? We might finally have an answer. Listen. It's not for these illegals, especially let's go off the numbers that they're telling us that there really are. They're, they're saying, what, 11 million? In reality, I can tell you right now with talking to all of the agents that I've talked to, private sector, looking at the cameras and all the real data, uh, we're over 30 plus million who've actually entered this country. Yep. And so... Even with that, even though that's enough to replace about 36 states' population, why would they need to continue to do that if they're trying to absorb these guys, make them productive members of our society, get them into housing? Because we know that there are already housing uh, projects being uh, coordinated with builders, again, with our money. I believe um, it's to kind of like uh, what Nazis did with the Jews, concentration camps, processing facilities. They're going to need somewhere to process the dissidents. Yeah. So it's not for illegal immigrants? Who is it for? Dissidents? We're going to unpack this with former... All right. So that's, that's kind of the main point. You know, if you want, you can go in and watch this whole um, video. He goes in, he interviews uh, some dude that's like an expert on these type of matters. So... You know, if you want, go watch that video. But really quick, let me grab. Here's the the, the lady said it's not for these illegal mi migrants, right? Immigrants. The uh, the facilities she was talking about. She said they're for dissidents, right? So let's look up the word dissident. I I have it right here on deck. It says dissident, a person who opposes official policy, especially that of an author authoritarian authoritarian state all right so basically somebody who is a like look at the similar words objector protester you see so you know we're considered in this category us of the hopeful elect we're considered we're gonna be basically eventually we're gonna be outlaws <laughs> illegal because we're gonna you're gonna be breaking the law because this is what this is moving to is the micro C hip, the micro C hip, all right, the mark of the beast, all right. They're gonna stir up some event, chaos, civil war, racial war, especially, you know, I think that something big could happen right around the election time, which we're creeping on the election. That's in November, right? We're already, you know, we're already in. September. So you you're talking about less than two months away for you know what I believe something big will pop off, and that's like, like I said you know you have to understand these wicked elite, they move off of a a, a thing that they've always done throughout history called order de chaos, or de chaos. It's Latin, and it means order out of chaos, right? So, basically. They're the creating this chaos. Like I said, they're stirring the pot. They're putting these different elements and uh, psy psyops, which is a psychological operation for those of you that don't know. And, uh, you know, it's going to basically turn this place into a, uh, a battle zone, right? Eventually, soon, right? And the ones, and this is going to be, I believe, and, you know, it may not be exactly the way I'm saying but through the spirit, I, I believe that it's these are just elements, and eventually they're gonna say, "All right, look, this is the the solution." Because that order de chaos, order out of chaos, 
you know, the solution and the what's going to bring order out of all that chaos that's about to pop off. They're going to introduce that micro C hip. So they're going to say, look, you got to get one of these micro C hips, the mark of the beast, MOTB. So, you know, everything can be, uh, you know, um, controlled, centralized. And they're going to promote it as a uh, you know a solution, just like they did with the with the uh, co the the Novid nineteen. We got to say code words with the Novid vaccination, right? They told you, oh shit, there's we got this deadly disease. You know, you can pick it up by touching door handles, and and uh, you know it's very highly contagious. And then they said, hey, here's the solution. We got the vaccination, which is gonna, you know. <clears throat> which is going to keep you alive in this chaotic time, right? When they did that in 2020, they, that was their test run. They wanted to see the resistance, and now here they are, you know, four years later, and they're about ready to perpetrate their their true agenda, which is the MOTB. And I'm going to bring all these precepts out. But, um, you know, so you're going to be considered a dissident if you don't take that micro C hip, all right? A dissident, a person who opposes official policy, especially that of an authoritarian state. So look, right now it's not the policy, but remember what they did at the K or the uh, the 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 co the the Novid nineteen. At first it was um, at first it was uh, optional, right? But then they made it a policy. They're like, yo, you need to get this thing if you want to go to work. You, you need to get this thing if you want to go to the gym, if you want to go in a restaurant, if you want to if you want to travel, so on and so forth, right? And you had to have your little card, you know? And, you know, we saw a lot of death come out of that thing. And they were trying to blame it on the Novid, but the ones who, who know, who are in the know, we know what those people were dying from, you know? You had a lot of people suffer, uh, um, you know, strokes, heart attacks, young young people, people who normally are not in uh, danger of having those type of medical issues, right? Look at LeBron James' son, you know. Um, 